Hello students and welcome to another science online class. Our topic for today is nature of light under the lesson force, motion, and energy. But before we continue our discussion, let's define theory. So a theory is a group of linked ideas intended to explain something. So in this lesson, we will discuss and enumerate the different theories of light. So first is the wave theory of light. So wave theory of light is proposed by Christian Huygens. In 1678, Dutch physicist Christian Huygens believed that light was made up of waves vibrating up and down perpendicular to the direction of the light travels and therefore formulated a way of visualizing wave propagation. So, in short, light must travel through a medium or optical ether, and light resembles a wave-like properties, just like the illustration here. Yeah. Second theory of light is according to Sir Isaac Newton. So, Isaac Newton argued that geometric nature of reflection and refraction of light could only be explained if light were made of particles referred to as corpuscles because waves do not tend to travel in straight lines. Okay, so in short, light is made up of tiny particles or corpuscles that travel in a straight line and light is emitted by luminous objects. To further explain, the Isaac Newton's uh, theory of light. In 1704, he proposed that light consists of a stream of small particles because it travels in straight lines and at great speeds and reflected from mirrors in a predictable way. So he observed that the reflection of light from a mirror resemble, resembles a rebound of a steel ball from a steel plate. Yeah, so that is the relationship between the first image of particles and the second image, which is waves. The third theory of light is quantum theory, according to Max Planck. So Max Planck was a German theoretical physicist who discovered the quantum of action, now known as Planck's constant, or symbolizes by letter H in 1900s. This work laid the foundation for quantum theory, which won him the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1918. So according to him, light is absorbed or released in packets of energy called quanta or photons. So the term photon was coined by Albert Einstein's photoelectric effect. So, in continuation, the energy of a quanta is equal to Planck's constant multiplied to its frequency. So, here we have a formula here. Energy is equivalent to Planck's constant multiplied by frequency. So, H is the Planck's constant which has the value of 6.63 times 10 raised to 34 joules times second. And the frequency which is uh, measured by hertz. And for the last theory of light is the electromagnetic light according to James Clerk Maxwell. So with the publication of a dynamical theory of the electromagnetic field in 1865, Maxwell demonstrated that electric and magnetic fields travel through a space as waves moving at the speed of light he proposed that light is an undulation in the same medium that is the cause of electric and magnetic phenomena. So light is having both electric and magnetic properties. So as a review, light is an electromagnetic wave. So that is the part one for the video nature of light. 